Hello everyone. So in the last video, we talked about the two choices that are available for us, right? In form of money and bonds. And we studied that both have got some advantage and disadvantage. So it's very much clear that in order to make a safe investment, we should make sure that we have both of it, but in some proportion. Now in this video, we'll talk about how to decide the proportion of money and bonds from our income. So yes, there are basically again two types of factors that affects it. First is level of transaction. And the second is interest rate. So by level of transaction, I mean the number of times that you need to make a real transaction or you have to buy a thing. For example, you are a person who is very much indulged into shopping. Now you earn say 5,000, 1,000 rupees. So you thought that I go for shopping like twice a week. So twice a week makes it four into two, which is eight times a month. So definitely a more you have more use of currency in order to buy those things. So since your level of transaction is high, you need to keep hold of money. So your demand for money should will increase, right? Similarly, if you think you, are, you don't spend that much, so if your level of transaction is less, then automatically your money demand will be less. Because you can just sort out a particular amount and invest the rest in bonds. Now, the second determinant is interest rate. Mm. Now, interest rate is basically the amount or interest that you get on this bond by investing on this bond. So, again, in case you're getting higher interest, you'll surely want to invest more in bonds. So, your Demand for bonds will increase and since if this is your total part of income and since its interest has increased and you want to invest more in bonds, then you'll have lesser part left for money. So money demand will decline, right? And similarly, if it's lower, then your money demand will increase because you'll think that at least I'll have a liquid thing for me with me in order to make transactions so it's better to keep money rather than investing in a bond that is not giving me enough additional income or interest right so this is it for the factor parts and now we'll talk about money markets now coming to money markets or mutual fund market Basically, money market is a market that pool together funds of different people, okay, and invest it in government bonds. Now, to see what actually happens, imagine this being you. And you invested in this place called money market. Now, what money market did is, and they are not, you're not a single person to invest in the same, but there are many people around who are also investing in it. So it pooled together fund of people in order to invest in government bonds. Now what happens since government investing in any bond will give you some interest, right? So, for example, this government bond had this interest rate at, say, 12%. So, what money market does is, this government bond will give them 12%, right? Because eventually, it was the money market who invested, right? Now, instead of giving this 12% to everyone who invested, they keep some amount, say, 2% with themselves as their profit margin and give the rest to the people. And this is exactly what money market is and how it works. 
so yes this is it so in next video we'll talk about demand for money thank you